Hey guys, what's up? It's Carissa, and for today's video, I am doing my monthly favorites. For the month of January, I had a lot of products that I used. This is probably the one month that I really found a lot of products that I was just amazed by. So I figured that I would do a monthly favorites video this month. So if you are interested in seeing my monthly favorites, then just keep watching. And don't forget to like this video if you want to see more videos from me. And subscribe. So other than that, let's just get on to the video. So my first favorite that I do have from the month of January is this crown brush. I did get this brush from my BoxyCharm, my January BoxyCharm actually. And the entire month of January, I have been wearing this sucker. This thing is so good. It's just so good. So it's actually a blush brush. And when I read that it was a blush brush, I was like, why? Because it's so dense. Like, I could never see myself using it for blush. But I actually do use this for my foundation. Every foundation that I have tried out with this, it does not smear. It literally just seamlessly blends into the skin using this brush. I've always used a beauty blender, nothing different, but when I started using this sucker, your girl couldn't put it down. So, I really do love this product, and I will have the prices for every product that I do mention up on the screen, and then I'll also have them listed down below. Um, this, I actually did not pay full price for, just because I got it in my BoxyCharm, in which I pay $21 a month to get a box of goodies. The next favorite that I have for this month is really, really exciting because I love it so much. This is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I actually got it from BoxyCharm as well. I swear, not all my favorites are from BoxyCharm, I promise. But if you don't have BoxyCharm, you better get on that. I mean, I have so much in the bottle and I use it almost every day that I wear makeup. Um, I just spray it and the thing is you really do have to shake it up before you spray it or else you'll have glitter all over your face. But if you do shake it up and you just spray it either before or after your makeup or both, um, it leaves such a pretty finish and it just illuminates your skin. I really do love this stuff and I know this stuff is expensive because cover effects is very expensive. My next favorite that I do have is very, very cheap. It is the Pro Conceal HD High Definition Con High Definition Concealer. This stuff is so good. And I actually got this from Amazon, and it didn't let me choose a color. So this is the color that it gave me. I don't know if they have more than one color. Maybe they don't. But um, this is what it looks like. It has like a yellow undertone and I was really nervous about that at first because like if you look at it, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of dark to me. But it really does its job. It brightens up everything, it covers everything, it doesn't crease or bring out my pores. And this stuff is super, super cheap. So I really do recommend this stuff. So for eyeshadow palettes this month, I actually have two favorites that I honestly could not decide between the two. So I just said, I'm showing them both. The first one that I do have is the Dream Street Palette by Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. Kathleen is my favorite YouTuber. She has been for a very long time. And when she came out with this, I literally was like waiting for it to go on sale at 1 p.m. And instantly got it. Like I just, I needed this in my life. And as you can see, like they just have so many different looks that you can come up with in this palette. And they're all just so like buttery and creamy. These are just amazing. And then the second palette that I do have for my favorites of this month is the Athena palette. This is a very cheap palette. It's only $10. And holy crap, this is the best thing ever invented, okay? So this is a dupe for one of the Huda Beauty palettes. I don't know which one because I don't have any of them because they're way too expensive. But these eyeshadows are super creamy as well. And I love that it comes with the mirror because... That is so convenient when I'm just here doing I'm just like. There are so many different colors in here that you could use for different looks. Um, I'm actually wearing it on my eyes right now. I'm wearing this color right here along with this color and this color. So this is really great. The packaging is so pretty, so firm. And same with the Dream Street, Dream Street packaging. These two palettes are just to die for and they're both so beautiful. So another favorite that I do have, I actually have on my face as well. It is the Kylie Cosmetics highlighter in the color Queen. 
girl. I mean, just like. Hello. This highlighter is so freaking good. I was really scared because like it looks really glittery when you first apply it. I mean, when you first look at it. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the packaging, but I don't really care about stuff like that most of the time unless it's like laying out on my makeup table. So as you can see, like it looks pink. It looks really, really pink, but it's it's not. This glides on so perfectly, and the glow is so real. I have two more favorites for the month. I wanted to make this video as quick as possible because, like, I'm not super popular on YouTube, so I doubt people want to listen to me for, like, 20 minutes. The next favorite that I do have is from Real Techniques. It's actually one of the mini beauty blenders. I actually got this in a set with four brushes in which I do use one to apply my highlight. It came with four of the little mini ones and they're super super cute so easy to get underneath of your under eye when you're done your concealer and I mean you can even like push it to the side if you need to get there there I love them <laughs> They're my babies. So for my last favorite of the month, um, it is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Oh my gosh, I only have the sample size, but I literally am going to invest in the big one because this is so good. I've already used it a lot of times and I still have like, I think I have a lot left. But um, it actually like color corrects your skin. So I really get red when I put on primer for some reason. And it really just like calms the redness down. Along with it's really, really tacky so that your foundation sticks. I do have it on today. I really highly recommend this. I paid $12 for this little sample just to get the big thing because it's a bang for your buck. It's super good super super good all right everyone so that is it for my january favorites i hope that you did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and then subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me other than that i will see you guys in next monday's video bye, -bye.